two pieces that have never really been in public before. Um, so I, I got the two notebooks full of numbers and then uh, I decided to become uh, an FBI agent, but I did it with an old uh, NEC computer writing a basic program uh, from 1986 or so. So it was about the time that the coding was done and I decoded it with that for some kind of conceptual reason on my own. But, uh, why, why did Kaczynski make the mistake to leave the... Uh, I, I'm not sure it was a mistake. I think maybe it was a desire to have those things read. Um, yeah, you wouldn't think he would lead... Because it's a, it's a very simple code, but it's you can the FBI could not crack it until they found the key. In fact, they found half of the key and they still couldn't crack it. Then they found the other half. <laughs> Both of those were hidden in two different places in the cabin and inside of a wall. Um, and then once they had that, they were able to uh, decode things. But it's an ingenious uh, code. It just has two sets of numbers and you subtract one from the other, but you don't know where to start subtracting. And there's something in the code that allows you to know when you subtract this from that. Uh, and so if you don't know where to start, it's impossible. And uh, there's no way to write a program, even if you start subtracting numbers and then you have another set of numbers, you also need uh, a key that tells you what those numbers mean. But he uses so many different numbers for the same letter that it's almost impossible to then generate some kind of program that could crack the code. Yeah, one, we have time for one more question. Where, where are you? I'm here. Yes. Uh, well, I need to cover my questions, so that, uh, that sort of helps. So, and I think it's kind of ironic that uh, one had to use a computer so much hated by him to decode his words. Yeah, well, I didn't have to, but I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> Uh, and the question is, once uh, decoding it and bringing it back to words, uh, how long did it actually take you to select the text and was there a particular principle you went by? Well, he has 25 journals from 1970 to 1995 and I read all of those and I decided just to use the very beginning ones uh, where he's learning how to uh, hunt and gather uh, because he's very naive about it and then he's, he very quickly learns. Uh, so I was interested in this kind of this autonomy that he's trying to develop while he was there. Um, the other um, text that I use and perhaps when I watch it I use too much about his own uh, documenting of his own monkey wrenching and developing of bombs because perhaps I've skewed uh, the, the journals in that direction because of that. Uh, but I tried to end on a different point with the manifesto and then coming back to hunting itself and the idea of awareness and how the nature itself uh, teaches you to be more aware than if you live in a city. Uh, and uh, so in the end, I think I have the balance that I want, but uh, it was difficult to sort through so much information. James, thank you very much for bringing us this exciting uh, film and food for thought. And um, I hope we see you uh, soon again here with I will. The first time I came 35 years ago, um, I've doubled my age now, so I'll be back in 35 more again. <laughs>